I happen to be in Kuala Lumpur, where Jinji Ito's horror house was scheduled at. I'm a huge fan of Jinji Ito's works, especially Uzumaki, so I was really excited to find out whether it lives to my expectations. As one of the main halls features Uzumaki characters and elements. Jinji Ito's horror house comprises of three halls. Horror Halls A and B and Exhibition Hall C. No filming or recording was allowed in Horror Halls, but they consisted of typical haunted house experience with features and scare actors from Jinji Ito's collections such as Hanging Balloons, The Bully, Hitler's Statue, Soichi, and long hair in the attic. Participants have to enter in groups with one hand by the rope at all times. The alleys were dark and narrow, which there were perfect hidden corners for the scared actors to appear out of nowhere and scare the participants. As I'm a scary cat myself, I found it creepy to navigate in the dark with my friend and the rest. Both the exits of horror halls A and B lead to exhibition C, where you could view the draft drawings behind some of the characters, understand Jinji Ito's story, and snap some pictures around with Tomi and Soichi figurines. A half of Hall C comprised of Uzumaki, but I was disappointed as the exhibits were limited and they were not interactive. Nevertheless, I can't wait for the Uzumaki art to be animated. The merchandisers were mostly sold out when I was there. They were expensive too, so I did not purchase any back home. Seems like there was a cafe, but I did not see any Jinji Ito team food being sold. Personally, I found the entire experience lacklasting despite paying $25 sing dollars the entire event. Thank you for watching until here. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and follow me and my socials and upcoming adventures.